How's everyone doing today? Welcome back to On The Ball. Welcome back to another round of Premier League predictions when me and my brother go head to head in predicting Premier League outcomes. As you can see, just above Sim's head, the scores on the doors are 328 to Sim, 327 to me going in neck and neck to this week's Premier League games. The way the scoring works, five points for a completely correct scoreline, one point for a correct result on the star man. Once you pick that man, you can't pick them again for the rest of the season. And it's five points for a goal, two points for an assist. Um, a very small week in the Premier League with the FA Cup going on this weekend. I think there's only four fixtures in the Premier League this weekend with, um, in terms of the top half, I think Tottenham are the only, uh, Tottenham and Aston Villa, the only teams in the top half playing this weekend uh, and West Ham, uh, if you consider them. All right, and let's get straight into it. Starting off with th three, 3 p.m. kickoffs in the Premier League on Saturday. Burnley against Brentford at Turf Moor. Sim has gone for 2-0 to Brentford here. They're on a really, really bad run of form at the moment. And I kind of feel for them because every time I watch them play, they seem to be well in the game. They seem to be playing really well. And um, circumstances more often than not do go against them. And for one reason or another, they haven't been picking up the results. But what a massive game it is for them just to kind of uh, make sure they're not getting pulled into that relegation fight at the moment. They're at the moment, five points clear of the bottom three loot and Burnley, on the, from their point of view, I mean, if, <laughs> it looks like they're down already. There's currently a 10-point gap um, going into the last 10 games for Burnley. So the writing is really on the wall. Every time they seem to go into games, they seem to play well, but they don't just they just can't get results. They seem to be continually losing. They can't keep the back door closed. I'm just looking at Brentford, how they defend, and I'm thinking they. I think Burnley are going to have a real tough time scoring against that Brentford team. And I think Brentford are going to have too much uh, for Burnley, and I think they're counter -attack counter-attacking style is going to be really suited to playing this Burnley side and I've just gone for them for a comfortable victory 2-0 yeah, I agree with what you're saying in terms of the way Burnley set up, the way Brentford set up. Brentford will, licking, will be licking their lips going into this game, uh, knowing that there's going to be space for them to attack with Johan Wisser, with <coughs> sorry, uh, Ivan Tony and, and the rest of them. I think that I think Brentford will win this game quite convincingly and finally get that win on the board, which uh, maybe their, some of their performances should have got over the previous weeks. However, I do feel like Burnley are good for a goal in this game. Uh, Brentford's back line has been decimated they've got a lot of injuries there uh, Burnley went to West Ham last week and you know went 2-0 up Fafana's playing well they seem to be as much as they haven't got a lot of goals in the last three or four weeks I think you can say over the course of the season um, they know how to attack and I think in against a decimated Brentford back line I think they'll be good for a goal but I just feel Brentford will be uh, too strong for them and pick them off time after time in this game so that is why I have gone for 3-1 Sim has gone for 2-0 let's move on to Luton against Nottingham Forest Sim's gone for 2-1 to Luton I've gone for 1-1 in this massive massive game down at the bottom um, it's it's so big for both these teams uh, I'm not sure how many points separate them three. if you've got the league table three points separate them um I just feel like both these sides might go into it super pragmatic just not to lose the game. I think it's more important for Nottingham Forest in terms of just, I think the draw will be massively in favour of Nottingham Forest going into it. Luton, um, look, they're doing decent at the moment. Last night must have been a massive shock uh, for them going 3-0 up at half time and losing the game 4-3 must have been a massive kick in the teeth. I'm not sure if that's going to knock their confidence or, at all, but I'm looking at Nottingham Forest going into it and I just feel like... I feel like they've got the players to really hurt Luton, but I just feel like both of them are just going to be super pragmatic and maybe cancel each other out. I don't expect a great game of football here. Yeah, I think Luton being at home will want a response to what was must have been a devastating defeat um, against Bournemouth on Wednesday night. It was a game where they knew that game in hand has been looming over them for a long time and they sprinted into that three-goal lead. And the way they gave it up uh, must have been heartbreaking, really, because to have that kind of a commanding lead in such really important circumstances and to not be able to hold out for victory well, must have been devastating but luckily for them they do have a quick turnaround and I think maybe being at home against a Nottingham Forest side where it doesn't get much bigger when it comes to um, survival in this kind of game and I just feel like uh, Luton might want a reaction to that defeat on Wednesday and I don't think there's a better game for reaction than Nottingham Forest at home. Forest for me their, their form has been dipping quite a bit. I haven't been that impressed with them in recent weeks. And I, I also, I look at Nuno and he seems to be cutting a figure 
who's very worried. He doesn't seem to be um, calm about the situation at the moment. You can maybe read it as him being defiant or him being, you know, that super motivated to get Forrest up. But I look at him and he just seems, he seems to cut a worried figure. So I feel like they're going to go into this game worried about losing it. And I think that could suit Luton. And I think they're going to take the game to Forrest. And I see them turning him over. I'm going for two on for, uh, Luton. Yeah, I mean, you talk about Forrest's form. I mean, the last two games have been poor from two one nil defeats. But before that, they seem to be playing well with not getting results on the board. You look at that 4-2 defeat to Aston Villa as much as they were horrible in the, in the first half. In the second half, they nearly got back into that game. And um, they, I thought they played really well in that second half. They beat West Ham 2-0 just before that and a 3-2 loss at home to uh, Newcastle just before that. So I think... Um, on a whole, if you look at their last five, six games, I don't think they'd be too disappointed with what they're showing on the football pitch, regardless of results. Do you not think? Uh, I think they can take some encouragement in in some of the uh, some elements of the performance, but I don't think, like for example, you know, the only reason they were encouraged by the Villa defeat because they came, they were three 0 down already, and they they did come back from it, but they were terrible. Like they shouldn't have been in that position or three 0 down. Newcastle um, at home, they played a decent game, but again, uh, left the back door open. I think they'll take some encouragement, but I, I just look at them. I thought they were really poor um, against Brighton, against against Liverpool. They played really well, but they ended up succumbing to it. I just feel like going into this game, if if they have this mentality of, oh, we're just going to, to not not to lose, I think that could be their undoing if mm. they go into a negative attitude. And I think they might do. And so I'm going Luton to win. All right, let's move on to the London derby at Craven Cottage. 5.30 kickoff on Saturday. Fulham against Tottenham. Both us gone for the exact same scoreline in 2-1 to Spurs. And both these sides should go into this with confidence, to be honest. You're looking at Fulham. Um, they're in a really good moment um, as it stands right now. Tottenham on the back of that 4-0 win in that massive game at Villa Park. Both these sides got to be going into it with confidence. I think it's going to be a really hard-fought game of football. Um, I think Tottenham will just get over the line with the quality that they do have and what and Spurs actually have something to fight for right now where Fulham look they're in mid-table they're doing really well but I don't think they have much to fight for so I think this game means a lot more for Tottenham than it does for Fulham and I think quality will shine through yeah, I think I think that's absolutely right. But Fulham are obviously doing quite well at home at the moment. They did beat Brighton three 0 in a really convincing display. They went to Old Trafford before that one two one, so they're in a good moment. Uh, and even last week against Wolves, I thought they played really well. And were really unlucky to to lose away from home two goals to one. But uh, despite their good form and despite this going to be a very tough game for Tottenham, I just see Tottenham oozing in confidence now with that four 0 win against Aston Villa, and they'll know how big it is to build on that kind of momentum. Obviously, if we do win this game, we put pressure on. Aston Villa who play on Sunday and really put pressure on them to get the result and I think Spurs will go go into this game knowing that and I think um, with that confidence boost I would have gotten from Villa Park I think they go into it and come flying out the traps and I think it's not going to be an easy game but I just think they're going to scrape it 2-1 mm. and then last but not least it's West Ham against Aston Villa both us gone for 2-2 two, two here at Desmond uh, what are you thinking? I think obviously both teams play in midweek, uh, so both have European football to contend with. But it's also quite a big game in the European race for both teams. So obviously Villa chasing down top four, uh, West Ham chasing down um, top six. So I think I don't think it's a game both teams are going to take lightly. I think it's a game that both teams are going to take very seriously. And even though they might have players rested from Thursday, it's going to be a very important game. I just see... Villa, um, maybe without John McGinn, without a few crucial players, um, struggling to contain West Ham on the counter-attack. I think West Ham are going to allow Villa um, the ascendancy. And I think if um, West Ham have that front four together, I can really see them punishing Aston Villa. But on the flip side, with West Ham having played in midweek and how I know they like to start games slowly and they like to give the opposition the ascendancy. I can see Villa maybe taking the lead, but I can see West Ham coming on strong late on with the, with that uh, front line they have. So I couldn't, couldn't separate the sides. I've gone 2-2. Yeah, I mean, look, both of these sides were absolutely shocking over the weekend, weren't they? I think West Ham got themselves out of trouble late in the game when they didn't play well. Um, they looked like the relegation side uh, for the majority of that game. Aston Villa got absolutely battered in the second half by Tottenham in a 4 defeat so I think both these sides will want to come out and uh, maybe give something back to their fans that they didn't give last week having said that I'm looking at this Villa side without John McGinn without Kamara with a lot of players out I think they're going to struggle in this game but they do have the x-factor in terms of the likes of Ollie Watkins who can always get them out of trouble West Ham on the other hand as much as they didn't play well last week they did find a way to get a point out of the game and I think with the likes of Lucas Paqueta back in the side goals have been coming back into this West Ham side so I feel like 
it's going to be a really good game of football with quite a lot of goals. Um, West Ham, Aston Villa are going to lose a massive element in their game without John McGinn. Um, but having said that, you look at their Aston Villa side, the narrative around Aston Villa this season is that how brilliant they've been at home and how poor they've been away from home. But actually, that's kind of, the script has kind of been flipped um, in the last couple of months, or even more than that, because I think Aston Villa haven't lost an away game since that Man U game in late December. And before that, they hadn't lost one in a, a prior month to that, to the Nottingham Forest game. So two losses since early November away from home, I think is great going for Aston Villa. And I think they'll have enough just to hold on to a point in this game. But West Ham will be able to provide their own problems. So I think 2-2 is um, probably a fair prediction to go for in this game. In terms of star men, it's a Brentford head-to-head. Ivan Tony against Johan Wisser this weekend. Yeah, big one. Um, Tony's obviously been playing really well since he's come back. Actually, back in the England squad now, just announced. So I think he's going to, off the back of that, have that real big confidence boost. And I can see him causing Burnley a lot of trouble. So I've gone for the Ivan Tony. Yeah, I've gone for Johan Wisser just because I've already picked Ivan Tony, And uh, also with Johan Wisser, I feel like with the way that Burnley play, I feel like Johan Wisser's pace in behind and the way he can get in behind in terms of Ivan Tony's flick-ons and stuff like that will be imperative to, to Brentford going on and winning this game. So I do envisage both of these guys getting points, but I'm hoping it's more Ivan Tony um, assisting Wisser than the other way around. And I, I envisage it could, act- could actually go that way. So penalty. Uh, Come on, Tony's <laughs> going to get a penalty. I've gone. I, I guarantee you, they're going to be assisting each other this weekend. That's for sure. Mm. Um, but that is our star men picks that is our Premier League predictions for this weekend let me know your predictions in the comment section below let me know your star men and let me know who you think is going to come out come out on top this weekend me or Sim thank you everyone for joining us today and we'll see you next time